Jean-Claude follows a similar routine each morning. He starts by watering the flowers on his balcony. It's a moment of calm for the retiree who used to work as a chef and who's serving a 10-year term for identity falsification. Each time this subject comes up, I want to hide behind a cupboard because I feel so, so ashamed. But maybe at the time the judges decided the sentence was necessary to get the message into my skull. Jean-Claude serves his sentence outside prison walls, at home. Here, he's going to an appointment with his prison advisor. The interview is part of an open custody agreement. The advisor assesses whether Jean-Claude has been following court orders. There are just over a hundred insertion centers like this one in France. They can work with the over 80,000 offenders in prisons and the 170,000 or so who, like Jean-Claude, are in open custody. Kevin is serving his second sentence for assault. He has to do 140 hours of community service. Là, je pense que ça va être rapide et après, bah, c'est terminé en espérant que j'ai pas à revenir. Quoi. One of the central aims is to bring down the cases of repeat offending. Judges in France can change a sentence as it is being served on a case-by-case -case basis. Sentences are becoming tougher, and this is due to the fact judges do not have enough information to tailor a sentence to the individual offender. Judges need to know more about a person's personal situation, his or her family, housing, their work situation, to be in a position to make other sentences than prison. Sullivan has found a job in a fast food restaurant. He has got a permanent for life contract, which means he does not need to serve his eight month sentence for robbery behind bars. He, along with around 10,000 people in France, is under electronic surveillance. He's required to wear an ankle monitor at all times. C'est quand même un boulet entre guillemets qu'on a qu'on a ça a été compliqué au début en vie de coupe parce que enfin il a fallu s'y habituer après on s'y fait j'en ai beaucoup parlé avec ma compagne donc on savait à quoi s'attendre quoi Elle l'a accepté tout de suite euh, non ça a été dur au début ça a été quand même assez dur parce que euh, pour elle c'était elle aussi qui subissait mes bêtises à moi quoi Respecting court orders isn't easy for everyone. Nicolas was given four months in jail for failing to turn up at court. He asked for his detention restrictions to be eased after a month and a half in jail. He now stays in a halfway house and is allowed to leave it three hours a day to search for work. Two guards Merci. oversee security in a building which is just next door to the prison. We're dealing with the same prisoners, but how can I put it? The relationship with the person is different. Things are a little more flexible. Nicolas has his own room a shower and a toilet, as well as TV and a cooking area. A sharp contrast to prison life next door. If he sticks to the rules, he will soon be released. Till then, he cannot afford to make a single mistake.